So we all know what temperature control is now, and uh, we got some cool stuff coming out that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. For example, my new go-to, the HB DNA 40, genuine DNA 40 chip. Let's get into the review. What's going on guys? CA here again. Thanks so much for tuning in. Welcome to Flavor Chasers. Today we are messing with, you feel that pounding in your chest? Must be the Heartbeat DNA 40. Guy, dude. Uh, this is my first, well, no, no. My first temperature control device was technically a vapor flask, but that unfortunately had an issue I'm, I'm not even going to get into right now. But this is the first one that I actually was able to use with a nickel build. And technically, it's not a nickel build. It's also the new Smoke Gimlet GCT Gimlet Cloud Tank. Yummy! Obviously, it has NI200 coils, uh, 2 ohms, 20 to 80 watts. Like, you're going to use temperature control at 80 watts? That seems a bit excessive, but uh, I can imagine you'd be hitting that you know, temperature protection every single like second. I, I couldn't do that, man. But this, this is an insane little box. Kind of looks like a hand mod, doesn't it? Except the buttons are in the wrong place. Now, let me talk about it real quick. These buttons, you think, okay, that's in a weird ass place. Why are they there? I don't know why they're there. Probably for convenience for them making it, but you know what? It's not bad. Your thumb will hit it this way. Your thumb will hit it this way. Your finger can hit it that way. Your thumb, it's just, it's actually relatively easy to hold. Um, let's take a tiny toot, shall we? Just a tiny toot. Not too shabay with that vapor cloud production, right? But the flavor my goodness gracious now I know it's not the tank just doing that because guess what don't say anything guys because you know I was always against it it's a Kanger Mini whoa but it has one of the rebuildable decks in it and I built it to nickel and uh, really quickly I'm gonna throw it on here real quick and then we're gonna get into the full review of the smoke not the smock people it's smoke it makes sense right Smoke tech, all that fun stuff. Woo! Hear that bad boy going? Listen to that. Chucking it. Mmm. Oh, here's a good chance, a quick plug in. In this one, is Animal Looper. A lot of you guys like Animal Looper. I enjoyed it for a little bit until I found this. Yes, sir. Vapor Alchemist Fruit Loops. Now, guys, this person that makes it, his name is Jackie. He is an insane fella. He makes all of his premium juices in house. Um, all Max VG. Everything is premium. This is some of the best juice I've ever had. This is 120 mils, and I only I paid under 40 bucks for this. I didn't have to pay shipping. He lives here. He came over to the house, brought his entire line. I sampled him. I'm like, nope, give me that. And that's what's in here. That was filled up last night. I've been I've been tooting on it and pulling on it. I love it, man. The flavor is exactly what you expect from Fruit Loops. You taste a little bit of berries. You taste some lime. You taste the milk, you taste the grain from the cereal. Now, like Animal where it's just kind of, for me, it tastes chemically. Um, the only other really good cereal vape I do, or Fruit Loop vape I will do, is Cerealicious by Zulu Vapes, ZuluVape.com. They're located in Myrtle Beach, they're located in Charleston, South Carolina, or the other way around. I don't know. I'm, I'm not even sure. I'm direct facing, whatever. They're in Chucktown in, in a Charlotte. Um, oh. Myrtle Beach, not Charlotte. Don't know where Charlotte came from. 
And that's the only juice that is comparable to that. They're both incredible. Um, so let's talk about this. If you don't know what a DNA 40 chip, pretty much the chip is a, uh, it's a 40 watt chip made by Evolve, but it has something called temperature protection. What you can do is you can adjust the temperature at which, at which you want your coil to burn. And when it hits that limit, it will adjust your wattage and lower it so it does not go above it. So you don't get burnt hits. That is the main thing. No more burnt hits. They're gone. As my friend Dave says, no more hate vape. There is no more hate vape. And that's a good thing, man. I enjoy that. Um, I'm going to do another two. I love this. Let me get the hanger. That wasn't that big of a toot, but the flavor was overwhelming. You know what? I'm going to go ahead, and if you don't know how to work these, you know, you hold the power or the up and down button, and you can adjust the wattage from that way, let it go all the way up, and I'm going to do it at 40 watts at 520 degrees Fahrenheit, and then I'll put it up at 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Some people say VG becomes toxic at 500 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit. No, that's at which it starts to do its thing. Um, it doesn't become toxic, uh, from what I understand. If it does become toxic, someone please comment below. Let me know so I don't kill myself. But I'm going to do it at 520 watts, or that would kill me. 520 degrees Fahrenheit, and then I'll go up to 600. A 40 watts, right? Seriously. That is incredible. Now this tank, now it does not have the airflow like the Delta has or like even the Kanger. Well, this Kanger right here was modified by my buddy Colby working over at Planet Vape. Speaking of which, speaking of Planet Vapor, I want to give a shout out to my friends Graham and Jason. What's up, dudes? Told you I would do this. They're gonna come over sometime with some Nord Juice, and we're gonna do a quick review. But um, this tank right now um it's not the most airflow it's not the most restrictive either uh it's better than the atlantis not as good as a delta kind of in between it's better than a stock hanger um it's adjustable let me go this way that's that's your smallest hole right there i'm not sure if my camera's focusing properly today uh we're getting some camera issues taken care of and it's like a mouth to lung Ooh, I hate hitting like that now. It doesn't feel natural anymore. But I just keep it. I just keep it wide open, like everyone else does. I almost choked there. It wouldn't be a video if I didn't choke. So <coughs> there we go. I hope you feel better about yourselves. Um, but you can get this smoke online between thirty and fifty bucks. I got mine from Smoke uh, Smoke City CA for or dot com for thirty bucks shipped. You can't beat it. it comes with two of these coils. There's another one of the wrapper. It comes with extra Pyrex. You know how I like about my goodies. I love them. If I don't get my goodies, I'm pissed. Um, and this box. Let's talk about this box again. Where can you get this box? You can get it in a few places. I know a lot of people don't, haven't seen many of these reviews because they've over, well, been in the UK and overseas. Not many of them here. Thankfully, I got one pretty early. Um, I got this from VaporTechUSA.com. VaporTechUSA.com. They're right around 100 bucks, give or take with shipping. Comes in this fancy little plastic case, this Kachi. Oh, it sits here. You, you get this. We've all seen this thing before. If you had a clapper or anything, you've seen that. This comes out. You get a user manual. Yeah. I don't know why they, that, 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 that fixed me off. You have a picture of the boxes right there, right? The battery's dead. Well, take a picture when it's fully charged. You know, that's just bad marketing, in my opinion. That, that's pathetic. Okay, the smoke. I, I have taken apart right now. So let me halfway put it back, whatever. This is the sleeve it comes in. So you know what it looks like. It says smoke, GCT, kind of like the VCT with the G word. It means glimlet or gimlet cloud chaser. And inside of that sleeve, you get a box. Nice little box, cardboard. Don't really care about the boxes. And inside of the box, it looks like this. You get this, tank, glass, addy, coil. 
And I showed you the other coils and stuff, and you get a little a booklet. Now, someone else pointed this out. You see that little right here, that device? That is the Smoke X Pro, looks like the 50. Now, I'm not sure why it's showing it on the 50, because it's not a variable, uh, well, you can't, it's not temperature protected. So, you'll destroy your thing. But perhaps they put another coil in it, because that's what you, that's cool about this, is you can use any of the VCT coils or the VCT DIY to build, um, and it'll work just fine. You can build Canthal on it, you can build nickel and i200 and nichrome if you're into that uh and you know it's cool i like it um but i'm just gonna i'm sticking with just the the basic replaceable coils with this one because it's convenience for me it's all about convenience these days i don't want to have to build everything i do um i'll build my rdas i'll build my rtas but that's all i want to do i don't want let me let me have fun with these this is my grab it and go do what I gotta do, not worry about dripping while driving. You should never drip while driving. It's dangerous, hurt yourself. Um, let me see. So let me do a quick recap here. H Cigar, go online, look for it. Uh, don't know how many other reviews are out there, check it out. It's the HB, the Heartbeat, DDA40. You can only find this juice at capitalcityvapors.com. That is the only place you will find this juice. There is no website. Um, maybe soon you'll find it in some retailers um, where you can order it online. Just maybe. But please, if you want some of the best, some of the best Fruit Loop cereal vape you've ever had in your life, trust me here, fellas. Please trust me. Go to Capital City Vapors. Post on there. Say, hey, listen, CA from Flavor Chasers said, hey, I need to come here and look for this juice. Dude, I guarantee the fellow will post right there instantly. And you will get your juice mailed to you. You will you will try it. You will love it. You will comment below and you'll be like, dude, you was right. That's amazing. And dude, he has this French toast crunch. Woo! And for me, you know, my other favorite one he does is called banana tobacco. Now, yeah, tobacco. It's normally a disgusting flavor. You don't taste tobacco. You taste banana with creaminess. The tobacco cuts back on the sweetness, so it makes it more realistic. You get a hint of tobacco, but it's not like a cigarette tobacco. It's more like maybe like your grandpappy's pipe tobacco. You know, it's quite pleasurable. I love it. Um, this tip right here. I'm getting one made for the Gimlet by Justin Tipman. He is on CCV. If you find him, you know, ask him to make you a tip. Uh, he'll, he'll tell you the prices. Just say, hey, go on CCV, Capital City Vapors. Hopefully you figured that out by now. Be like, hey, CA from Flavor Chasers said, hey, find this page and ask for the guy that makes the tips. Say, where's Justin? Show me the Justin. He'll pop in. He'll, he always pops in. I think he's an admin there too. He'll come in there and be like, hey, I make him. Send me a private message. Let's see what we can do. And, uh, dude. Everything I have here, you can have very easily if you just follow the links below. And I will, I'm will i adding more links. I'm slowly doing this more and more proper, like properly, if you will. But before we go, let me take a few more toots for you. And uh, just for fun. I, 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 really, I really enjoy this. Oh, wait. I said I was going to put it up to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. The way to get into that is you click your screen, or the, the power button, the fire button five times to get into lock mode. And then you're going to hold down your up and you're down. That will bring you in. You can't see any of this. I don't know why I'm showing you. It will bring you into your temperature control and you just go up until you see 600. If you go past 600, it goes back to volts. So stay at 600. One, two, three, four, five. Uh oh. Okay, no, I'm, I'm good. I thought I went back to voltage. I'm like, no, please don't do that. Let's see how she vapes. Oh, that's quite nice. That is even nicer. There's no throatiness. Um, it's still smooth. It's warm. At, at 40 watts, it's, at, at, let me see where it goes to. It goes up to 570, 560, and stays there. And that's it. And uh, kind of regulates around there. And that, it doesn't go up to temperature, uh, doesn't do, go into temperature protection mode. 
where it drops the wattage at this. So it's delicious, it's warm, it's burnt free. What more do you want? Do you guys are you guys not tired of getting burnt hits yet? You gotta be. Um, well, my new vapor flask comes back in uh, hopefully soon. Um, I talked to Charlie down there in Georgia at SC Box Mods, and hopefully I'll have my vapor flask here Monday or Tuesday. I don't know. I sent mine back, and I should know something soon. And when I get mine back, I'm gonna do a review on it. Reviews have been done, not by me though, and I want to do it because that's because I'm a big boy and I want to do it. So, some more toots, it's 40 watts at 600 degrees Fahrenheit. That's decent clouds. Like, you can fog, like, honestly, I can fog out my BMW or my Avalon with this. I can probably fog out my minivan with this. There I am. Yeah, it's it's good. So once again, check these out. If you're new to temperature control devices, make sure you do your research before you just jump on in. You don't want to just go buy an expensive stuff and all of a sudden be like, well, I don't know how to work this. Learn how to work it. Watch some more reviews and stuff. Um, this is my review. This is not a how-to DIY thing or you know, any of that stuff. This, this is me telling you how I feel about it, my perspective on it from a real person. Um, and I love it, you know, it, it's, I think it is the future of vaping. I'm not going to get into the whole the future is now thing. That's, that's Rip's thing. Let him do that. Um, but guys, it's worth the investment. I like it. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm CA. If you like this, please like it, subscribe, check me out on Facebook. Obviously you're on YouTube. I'm on Twitter at flavor underscore chasers. Um, and uh, I'm taking requests. Oh, big news, guys. Um, once I get to 1,000 subscribers, there's not much now, but once I get to 1,000 subscribers, I'm doing a giveaway. And this giveaway will include a brand new Pioneer for you IPv4. What? Two genuine VTC4 Sony batteries. What? A Heracles sub ohm tank. What? And Vapor Alchemist juice of your choice. 120 mils. I will send that to you. Share, talk about me, positively please. Uh, and once I get to a thousand likes and subscribers, um, or likes on my Facebook page, so I know who you are, I'll start posting links up to when we get close to the time of, hey, listen, we're getting close to a thousand subscribers. Now we're gonna start, be like, hey, here's the giveaway details. But that's what I'm gonna give away to you guys. Promises, swear to God, cross my heart. Um, Anyways, once again, I'm CA. Thanks so much for stopping by, and we'll see you next week.